a little bit too fucking comfortable. You see what I'm saying? Talk to the nigga that ain't doing what he's saying that he needs to do. Talk to your fucking baby daddy because I know y'all hoes. That's all y'all probably good at is fucking. I don't wake up in the morning to argue or fight with my son. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I don't wake up in the morning to, to, so my son can end up being with a woman like that too. He not. I don't want my son to, oh, this is what I'm used to. Now, I'm going to be with a woman. She going to fight me. I didn't be with niggas. They, they didn't have the women cut them. But they trying to rape me to get some pussy. You see what I'm saying? She had to cut you? You see what I'm telling me a story about a woman trying to cut you because you was with her? Then you with him for so long, you start seeing why. This nigga lying. He don't want to show up. This nigga want to come in front of your face trying to treat you like you shit. That's why she cut you. It wasn't because you did this. Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all want women that are actually... Y'all want the women that are actually attacking me. You don't want me. These women don't want me as their friend. You want the nigga that you need to attack. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? It don't make no sense for me to be at a place. I'm talking about y'all. All I'm doing is coming here to the studio, going to go get me something to eat, and stopping in this fucking office. If I got to see you in the office two times a day, you should be able to. And I'm here for 90 days. I'm in this place for 90 days. When I get to the office, it ain't shit you got to say. You can keep your ass on the phone do whatever the fuck you got to do. You understand what I'm talking about? But when you talking to me, you gonna make sure you talking right. I don't know. I'm not a child. You know. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know who the fuck y'all bitches think I am. Y'all get what I'm talking about? I'm not five fucking years old. I didn't been to this office. These bitches. I'm talking about every fucking thing that come out of their mouth is rude and disrespectful. You think I'm gonna come to this fucking office every day with you being rude and disrespectful? And not say shit to you. When that bitch sat there and looked at my fucking schedule, y'all. I'm in the fucking office standing there. They got, it's two grown ass women and this little bitch in this office looking at my schedule. Trying to tell me when the fuck I'm finna see Marcia McDuffie. And this bitch has been working for St. Louis Public School fucking district. You understand what I'm saying? A low life hoe gonna be a low life hoe. Period. You get what I'm talking about? Ain't no fucking... I'm, ain't no way I would have did that to another teacher. Even when I didn't like y'all ass. The only time these kids ever heard that I can't stand you is on this fucking show. Y'all get grown and don't know how to be grown. I'm talking about y'all. I go to the office. This little girl got the nerve to try to tell me what to do. I'm 44 years old. I've been running class with respect the entire time. The most respect I can give to a person. When I'm in the black community, I give them so much respect. More so than I give to anybody else. Because if I'm in Frisco, Texas, if a bitch gets slick, I'm going to go ahead and cuss her little white ass out. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Ain't nobody in the, in the black community did no shit to me like that at all. Not until I got back this time. I get back her. Oh, and Michelle Martin. Y'all see what I'm saying? Because Michelle Martin tried to do that shit too. One day, y'all, I sat at her desk and cried because I want to beat her ass with that chair that I was sitting in. I'm talking about y'all, I cried. Do y'all understand? Tears was coming out my fucking eyes. I cried because I wanted to get up and beat her ass with that chair that I was sitting in. Y'all keep on taking my fucking kindness for weakness because a bitch don't know me. Y'all, I get to the office. I see this little bitch is sitting in that fucking chair. I go ahead and like, okay, I give me some breakfast because McDuffie is late. Okay? I'm turning around to give me some breakfast. The man say, nah, come back. I open the door because you don't want no whole line on you. You understand? It's the type of bitch that a lie say you raped her. Y'all get what I'm talking about? I've been raped. We got, I got to cover my ass. You understand what I'm saying? I open the door. 
this bitch gonna say, come in and get your temperature and then you can wait for Miss McDuffie. This is how I know she in my business because that's better thing. Y'all see what I'm saying? That's some shit that was in my house with my fucking son. I don't ever say a spell to at work. I'm in my house with my son and they was recording me in my house. When they learned out what a spell was, a siento thing, they always, because it's Spanish, now you want to be a something to me. I beat your ass. Because it ain't your fucking business. It ain't your fucking black ass business. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. I'm not racist. I just don't like your community and I don't like your culture. St. Louis, Missouri, I fucking hate you. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't no reason for me to have to go through none of this shit with y'all black ass kids. You understand? Go do that shit with your black ass mama. Get in her fucking phone and go through her fucking schedule. Because I'm not your fucking mama. This bitch gonna come to the door, y'all. I walked away. I said, no. Listen, I told her, I said, I can't come in there because your mouth too slick and I'm gonna be the beat your ass. So I'm gonna wait for Marcia McDuffie. You understand what I'm saying? This bitch had the nerve to come to the fucking door like I'm not gonna beat your ass. Y'all, I've been itching to beat somebody ass. And at this point, I need a belt because this a young hoe. I get to the donut shop. I'm just like, I call my C. I'm like, what the fuck wrong with you? Who the fuck do y'all think I, y'all? Oh, I'm like, I got a fucking, I'm, I didn't have an anxiety since yesterday because you out here lying. Y'all, yesterday that shit was so wrong. Again, you in my schedule. You gonna come to my fucking door and say I got an appointment at 3 o'clock in the middle of a fucking appointment instead of you being a fucking woman. Y'all talking about they had these bitches in a classroom with people, kids. Y'all sit there at lunch and talk about somebody black. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And I hate to have to use the same fucking word. I'm gonna start calling these fucking teachers niggas. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I sit there with a parent. The parents can be honest with me. You see what I'm saying? You'll talk about a black community so bad and you the one that's in it. You the one destroying it. That girl in my shit. You gonna get on the phone and raise your voice back at me? I'm telling you I'm having an anxiety and PTSD attack. And it's because of you. You see what I'm saying? You gonna get on the phone and raise your voice at me? Like I did something to you? Y'all, I don't have time for it. I spend my time at the library. I spend my time on a bus. I spend my time out here being a foodie and going to all these damn restaurants and trying to get somebody to talk, get me to talk to my son. That's how I spend my time. You mean to tell me I've been at this place for no less than three weeks and I already got an argument with a bitch over nothing because you want to come in here like you got an attitude because you know some past information like me and you fucking friends? I'm not your fucking friend, nigga. Y'all really be thinking I'm fucking playing. I'm not threatening anybody. I was going to go in there and beat that girl ass. Ain't no, I was going to go in there and slap her fucking face. That's not a threat. If I can turn around and walk away, what the fuck you following me for? Y'all, I done threw my shit down the street. I'm like, I'm finna be... I'm talking about, I got, I told Marcia, leave me the fuck alone. I already had a meeting Monday with a social worker. What the fuck I got to talk to you for so you can act like we fucking friends? If you want to do some shit for a show, bitch, go do it. You see what I'm saying? Them hoes don't care about me. All they going to do now is once you get it, they going to set me up to be killed. You want me to be killed? I'll beat your ass before they do. Ain't no reason for me to do that. If I'm in the street fucking hollering and every day I'm out here calm, don't you think I'm trying to save my fucking life? If I'm telling you that a nigga after me to try to rape me, don't you think I'm trying to stop being raped? Y'all, I'm just like, what the fuck? I just walked out the fucking door. List three, uh, list three things that you want to add to your daily routine. Songs in the morning, a good couple. I need a screen so I can see my schedule, like, for real. I never check my schedule for real. Even if I write it down, I never check it. It's like, and I do check it. I get on, I got, it feel like I'm doing, a, like, a bigger task or something. Like, it's like, even though now I can probably check it quicker, you know, because now I got a little, 
a little hot spot I can check it quicker but it's like and it's quick I just gotta click on it but it's like something I always need to be charged or something somewhere else or whatever so that's it list three three things that you want to eliminate from your daily routine I don't want to over schedule I don't want to overthink and sadness because today I'm actually sad like that shit actually made me sad I'm trying to really stop trying to like I'm not fighting people like I'm not joking like I knew I would have went and just started knocking her ass because I don't have time to talk y'all it's not, it's not, it's nothing to talk about. You was in my schedule. You see what I'm saying? You done fucked up my days two days in a fucking row on some bullshit that ain't your business. And that's what I be being your ass for because you in my business. These niggas out here raping me. These bitches out here stalking me over some shit that ain't got nothing to do with them. You understand what I'm saying? This man is actually looking like the man actually wanted to marry me, girl. Some of that shit I think even from the email that he sent me. This man said, when I said he made me an essay, this man sent me a 10 page essay about how the fuck he loved me. And I'm talking about he ain't repeat nothing. Where is my husband? Why are you still talking to me like you ain't got no fucking, like you don't have a life? I'm not playing with nobody. That stuff was for my husband. They done went through my email. They done went through the books I used to read. They done went through how I drink. I'm talking about these people actually had this man come and eat my pussy so he can make a shake out of it. Do you understand how degrading that is? I'm not embarrassed by shit. That's some degrading ass shit. Don't nobody need to know what my pussy tastes like. Y'all understand what I'm saying? If I'm out here praying every day, talking about God, what in, in what nature do you think that I want every nigga out here to know what my pussy tastes like? Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like y'all looking at straight up evidence of rape and stalking and y'all sitting up here, here in an office trying to get smart with me over nothing. If anything, I need to have days where y'all tell me, Shantae, don't come down here. Send us a text message of your temperature. Sometimes I just need to leave this motherfucker and don't come back. Y'all see what I'm saying? It ain't about you. Y'all don't give me space enough to breathe. Y'all know every fucking thing about my fucking pussy. I ain't told you they did. It's in a song. It's in a movie. You see what I'm saying? Even the rape. And y'all had a nerd to still sit and talk to me like y'all ain't got no fucking sense. Or like I'm slow. Bitch, ain't none of that been my fault. If I done said no from the first day and this nigga find a way to trap me and rape me, how the fuck is that my fault? But y'all will sit there and talk to me like I done done something to you. I don't fucking know y'all. You looking at some information and you done got too comfortable because you think now we black, we, we un kuno. Bitch, I wouldn't sit with you at no table. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Especially with your mouth like that. I would have been smacked the taste out your fucking mouth. Ain't no fucking way. You gonna talk to me like I'm slow ho? Get out the room. You see what I'm saying? Because either you ain't got no sense or maybe I ain't got none. One of us wrong. And it ain't gonna be me. So get the fuck out the room. My kid's not that slow. I'm not fucking playing. Even when they said they needed special education, if they were still in my fucking classroom, my kid's not that slow. They know how to write lesson plans with every goddamn thing. They know how to talk to people. They know how to go somewhere. You understand? Because I make sure they know how to act. I wait on them hand and foot my fucking self. You understand? And today, if I had to, I'm talking about baby, if I had to be a waitress and wait on their ass while they was executives, I, that's exactly what the fuck I would do. Anybody else y'all can kiss my ass because I don't fucking know you. You understand? I'm not here to be your mama or your teacher. I got my students. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all not of me. You, you, I don't know you. You'll come to a door and not keep yourself safe. You got low fucking self-esteem. You understand what I'm saying? I'm really thinking about being your fucking ass. And one no fucking way you was going to win, bitch. I was going to walk up on you and just start beating the fuck out of you. Trying to talk to me like you fucking crazy. And if one see it, when it came in there, I went through that fucking chair in her fucking face. Ain't no fucking way. Both y'all retarding the same fucking office. Y'all, what is your ideal day? Just getting up and completing my goals. Don't fuck with me in the middle of my fucking day. And I ain't done shit to you. 
What is something you could do every day to stay focused on achieving your goals? I need to see the schedule and have it. And, uh, I need to see my schedule. That's what it is. And at minimum, I got like should have two hours to like when I finish a project to like talk about like write it down. Like what do I have to do next time? All this different stuff. Pick one daily self-discovery practice you want to try. I want to be with my son and become a better homeschool teacher. You understand? Because that's my competition, y'all. I use that's my that's my Achilles heel. I'm telling you right now, that little boy, me and him and teaching, what? It's a problem. It's good, but it's a problem too. So that's it. It's like I I just I can't. I'm not that person. Y'all understand? I'm not playing. And if you a bitch and you black, I'm gonna call you a black bitch. I'm not playing. I don't have time for it. I'm not being racist. I'm just being real. That's why I don't like being around all black people. Y'all understand? That's why I don't like y'all. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing else. You just a little bit too comfortable for me. You see what I'm saying? We ain't had no drinks or nothing, bitch. I ain't, not, I ain't nothing to you. What is real confidence? Real confidence is that you don't seek approval from others. I don't. It's uh, real confidence is that you smile only when you really mean it. Exactly. Real confidence is that you're not afraid of silence. I'm not. Cause just because people are talking to you don't mean, bitch, that I got to go crazy. Nope. Fuck y'all. If you Real confidence is you don't shift, shift response. Right. I'm going to take something off me and now give it to you. I really am telling you I was going to responsibly beat your ass. Real, it, real confidence is that you don't flatter. I don't. Real confidence is you always love yourself. I do. You aren't afraid to show your weakness. I'm not. I, the man, I was at the donut shop. He like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, so I can go beat her ass. He knew it. He was putting me out to go beat that girl ass. Know who you are and what you want. Exactly. Don't judge others. I don't have to. You aren't afraid to fail. I don't got nothing else to say to you, but your mouth slick. And I'm going to beat you in your fucking mouth. So here we go. Some common defense mechanisms. Repression. Projection, denial, identification, protective identification, regression, splitting, reaction formation, isolation, rationalization, displacement, disassociation, conversion, and sublim sublimination. That's all y'all doing right now. Anything you think that you're about to do to me is going to be part of trauma. Anytime you're looking at that bullshit they put somewhere online and you're making all these songs, you're just making trauma for me. It's not that you doing... Anytime you going through my shit, you just making more trauma for me. You just making more and more trauma. That's all you doing. And that's what happens with people. Y'all mess with them and then cause them to have all these situations. I had to tell that girl, call these people at this fucking place because they deal with mental health people. I don't have time for inconsistency. I don't have time to try to understand you or nothing. I'm too old. I got anxiety and PTSD for a reason. I keep my schedule. I tell people if I'm not going to be there when I'm going to be there. I tell them if I'm going to be on time or not. Whatever. You see what I'm saying? That's why you got text messaging. You got email. You got letters. You can write to them. You can call. It's so much shit you can send them through somebody else. You can leave a post-it note on the door. It's so many ways to communicate that at this point, if you can't do that right, you don't need a fucking job. Some of y'all don't even need a life. You see what I'm saying? You need your life behind boys in fucking jail. And then the rest of you can just kill your fucking self because y'all playing too fucking much. If you don't understand anything I'm saying, then don't try to. I'm not joking with you. I'm not playing. I'll kill y'all. That's it. Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns telling all y'all to fuck off. You see what they said about that pussy? That's exactly how I am, bitch, and it ain't yours.